In this sweet beginner's guide, I'll show you the top wallets, explorers, DeFi protocols, NFT marketplaces, decentralized trading, and analytics platforms. I'll show you all the tools that you need to start exploring the sweet ecosystem so that you're in position to take advantage of the opportunities within this rapidly growing layer one blockchain. But before I begin, please note nothing I say is financial advice. This is for education and entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. First thing you'll need to explore the ecosystem is a wallet. Slush is the native wallet for the sweet ecosystem, developed by Mistin Labs, who's the core team behind the sweet blockchain in general. And this is the wallet that I recommend starting with. Phantom Wallet has also fully integrated Sui Network and is another great option. All of the protocols and dApps within the Sui ecosystem are compatible with both Phantom and Slush Wallet. So setting up a Slush Wallet is really easy if you click on Linktree and then Slush Website. Here you can download the browser extension. They also have a web app version as well as a mobile version of Slush. Once you've installed your wallet, this is what the browser extension version looks like. So I have a full video that goes through the process of setting up Slush Wallet. I'll link to it in the description. Once you have a slush wallet set up, the next step is to fund it. And there's a couple of different ways you can do it. First of all, you could go ahead and click on buy sell and you could buy SWE directly through the slush wallet with any of the payment provider options here. If you've already purchased SWE on a centralized exchange like Coinbase or Kraken, then you would simply click on receive. This is your slush wallet SWE receive address. You'd go ahead and copy that address. Then go ahead and send your SWE from Coinbase or Kraken to your slush wallet SWE receive address. I have a full video on how to do that, which I'll put in the description. Another option is that if you're already using Phantom Wallet for Solana or Ethereum, you could use the in-wallet cross-chain swap functionality to bridge over to SWE very easily. For example, I have a little bit of Solana in here. We'll click on that and then we'll click on swap and then I'll just say max and then down here I'll select SWE and then click on SWE and this is a really easy way to bridge Solana over to SWE directly through Phantom Wallet. Probably the easiest method if you already have Sol or ETH in Phantom and you're using it. And this is a great option and what I would recommend going with because again, all of the SWE ecosystem protocols are fully compatible with Phantom Wallet. My recommendation would be to set up a Slush Wallet as well as a Phantom Wallet. Again, Slush is the native wallet for the SWE ecosystem. And so using it has some inherent benefits and potential opportunities for airdrops. Another nice thing about the Slush Wallet is it's a great way to explore the ecosystem. For example, if we click on the piggy bank, it's gonna show you some of the top defaults lending protocols, vaults, liquid staking options, and then native staking. And you can actually natively stake your SWE directly through the Slush Wallet, which is really nice. Another unique thing with the Slush Wallet is that it has a couple options in terms of sending SWE assets to other wallets. There's the traditional directly to a wallet. So for example, if I wanted to send some SWE to another wallet, let's just say this Phantom Wallet, I would simply copy my SWE receive address right here and then send directly to a wallet, 25 5% and I would paste in the receive address for that phantom wallet and send it that way. But they also have the option to create a claimable slush link, which is unique to SWE. So you could put SWE assets, whether they're coins or NFTs into a link that you could then send to a friend or use for giveaways. Anybody that clicks the slush link can go ahead and claim the assets that are in there. So for example, if I said add coins, I could add any of these SWE ecosystem coins that are in my wallet. We just say SWE and then I could say one SWE and then add and that would create a link. Then I could again share that link with family or friends when they click that link, they can then claim that one SWE without even having a slush wallet or a Web3 wallet. SWE uses ZK login so that all they would need would be a Google account or a Apple account and they'd be able to claim this SWE. So it's a really cool onboarding mechanism that is unique to SWE. So now that you have a slush wallet or phantom wallet and it's funded with SWE, you're ready to start exploring the ecosystem. So let's go ahead and do that now. SWE Vision and SWE Scan are the two top explorers for the blockchain and they're great starting points for anyone that's new. Taking a closer look at SWE Vision, if we click on DeFi, you're going to see the total value locked, volume, transactions, and active accounts. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the top SWE ecosystem DeFi protocols by ranking. And we'll dive into some of these in a second. Coins is going to show you the top tokens within the ecosystem. You can see there's over 143,000 currently. Deep and Walrus are two of the top utility tokens in the ecosystem. NFTs we'll dive into in a second. You can see all of the validators, statistics, and more. So SWE Vision and SWE Scan are great places to begin 
begin your journey into the SWE network. Next, let's talk about DEXs and DEX aggregators. There's a bunch of great options on SWE, Momentum being the newest and one of the best options for making swaps. Aftermath Finance is another really good option. CDIS is one of the original DEXs. 7K Smart Trading is another top DEX aggregator. Turbos is the OG DEX. And then Flowex, and I'll put links to all of these in the description. But tons of great options for making swaps on SWE. You can also make in-wallet swaps for any SWE ecosystem assets using Slush or Phantom. SWE Lend is the top lending and borrowing protocol, as well as Navi and Scallop. So SWE Lend, Navi, and Scallop for lending. If you're looking for liquid staking on SWE, there's a number of great options, Hate All being one of them. Volo is another great option, and this has an airdrop coming up, so I'll put a link to my video on Volo in the description. Spring SWE is a SWE Lend product, and another really good option for liquid staking. And then Winter Walrus is another newer option for liquid staking SWE, as well as Wall Token. If you're looking for on-chain perps trading on SWE, Bluefin is a great option, as well as Typus Finance. And Zo is a new decentralized perps trading platform that's showing a lot of promise as well. If you're into DeFi and looking to maximize yield, AlphaFi is a really good platform, as well as Kai Finance. And so DeFi on SWE is absolutely booming, and there are a ton of great options when it comes to lending, borrowing, liquidity pools, DEXs, DEX aggregators, perpetual trading, and more. SWE NS is the go-to for SWE specific domain names. You can search here to see if the name you're looking for is available and there's a bunch of benefits for example i purchased stoy which really simplifies a number of things including my receive address is just at stoy when i'm sending tokens to my wallet these are nfts so you can sell them whenever you want very similar to ens on ethereum and then the ns token is one of the top utility tokens within the sweet ecosystem this is a mist and labs backed project and they continue to promote it so if you're planning on building a network within this ecosystem then grabbing a NS domain name is something worth looking into. If you're looking to trade SWE ecosystem tokens in addition to DEX Screener, there's a number of really good SWE native traded platforms, Noodles Finance being one of the newest. On the Noodles app, you can clearly see all of the trending tokens within the SWE ecosystem. Top tokens such as Deepbook, Walrus, SWE NS, LoFi, and then New will show you the latest tokens that have been created. You can also make swaps right through this platform, and they also have a portfolio section where you can track everything that's in your wallet, including coins, LP positions, NFTs, staking, lending, and so on. So Noodles is a really good option for SWE ecosystem tokens. Nexa is another great option. This is a data analytics and trading platform similar to Noodles. Again, you're going to see all the trending tokens, all the blue chip tokens, new tokens. Then they also have Meme Zone, and this pulls in from all of the fair launch sites, so you can see everything in one place. You can make trades through this with one click. They also have a portfolio analytics tool as well. So Nexa and Noodles are SWE native token analytics and trading platforms. And then if you're looking for a top trading bot platform for SWE ecosystem meme coins, Raiden X is the go-to for that. You can trade, snipe, copy trade through this platform. This is similar to Bull X if you're familiar with that on Solana. And so Raiden X is my go-to trading bot platform for SWE ecosystem meme coins. NFTs on SWE are gaining momentum and Tradeport is currently the top marketplace. Just note that this is a multi-chain marketplace. So make sure to click on the SWE logo right here. Top NFT collections currently. Popkins, this is Claynosaurus companion collection that just minted last week and is doing really well. Doonies is one of my favorite collections. MF Squid Market, this is Ika's NFT and Ika is one of the most anticipated protocols set to launch on SWE in the very near future. Prime Machine is one of the OG collections. Mystic Yetis, this is LoFi's collection. LoFi is the top meme coin on SWE. Huggies is another popular meme coin and this is their collection. Rootlets is a companion collection to Sweeland, the top DeFi protocol. Carrier Pigeons is Carrier One's collection, and Carrier One is a top D-pin project on SWE. And then Fuddies is one of my personal favorites and the OG collection of SWE. I believe this 10K collection launched same day the blockchain went live on mainnet. So currently Tradeport is the best option for NFTs on SWE, but that could be changing. There are some newcomers. Hoku is one of them. This launched just a short time ago and is an NFT market play specifically for SWE. Ganbatera is coming soon. In my opinion, SWE could really use a native NFT marketplace. This is going to harness AI with NFTs on SWE. And so this is one that, depending on when you're watching this video, might already be live and is definitely worth checking out. Potato Finance is my favorite tool for managing all of my SWE wallets in one place. This dashboard gives you clear insight into everything that you're holding in terms of tokens, LP positions, NFTs, SWE name 
same service. It will also give you notifications across all of your wallets so you can see what's going on. In addition, you can make swaps right through Potato Finance. They have an NFT collection coming up soon. If you go to airdrops, this will show you all of the farmable airdrop opportunities within the Sweet ecosystem as well as claimable airdrops. Potato Finance themselves has an airdrop coming up. So just by using this platform, which is free by the way, is a way to earn their airdrop. NFT launches. This will keep you up to date with all of the upcoming NFT launches on Sui. And so I have a full video on how to set up Potato Finance, which I will put in the description. I highly recommend utilizing this tool from day one. Sui is often being compared to what happened with Solana in early 2021, 2022 in terms of growth. And so there's a lot of benefits to diving into the Sui ecosystem now and being active, getting familiar with all the different apps and protocols that we talked about in this video. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more crypto content. I'll see you in the next one.